I want to turn your attention to chief operating officers for law firms. You know, how vital is it for a law firm to have a CLO and, and what does a CLO do for a law firm? Obviously, when firms start up, the the owner or and possibly one or two administrative people are wearing many, many hats. But as the firm grows, as those cases increase, as the demand for higher quality or um, are, are, are the working up of bigger cases come in, that's when the importance of a chief operating officer or COO uh, comes into play. That person is really the point person or the, the, or the person between the visionary and I'll say the rank and file team members. They're the ones that need to have great communication skills, both up and down the ladder, if you will. They are the ones that are working with HR most of the time and identifying talent uh, through a recruiting process and an onboarding process that allow the firm to grow with good people. But also looking at systems and processes. Uh, we uh, at Vista, when we come into a firm, one of the very first questions we ask is who is our sustainer? We call it a sustainer. That usually is the COO who has that responsibility of oversight in lots of different areas. Um, and they have, to, as I said before, great communication skills. They need to identify talent. They can't be the bull in the china cabinet or everyone's friend. You know, there's a balancing act that we see that the great ones do. And there's one more term that I'm gonna use here and then I'll define it, is they have to be mentally sound. And uh, don't laugh, uh, mentally sound in Vista terminology is they squash drama. I'm sure that um, at Esquire Bank, uh, there's not any drama at all. In, no, in, in most firms, in most businesses, there's some type of drama, but the best COOs that we see, they take that drama in, they synthesize it, they squash it, and they put it back out. If you've got someone who ramps up drama, not a good COO. <laughs> Mary Ellen, let's focus on chief operating officers and maybe you could share with us what they do for law firms and how vital it is for a plaintiff law firm to have a COO. Well, when we walk into a firm, especially a smaller firm, what we typically see is there are people under roof that are wearing a whole lot of hats, including the owner of that firm. And that's great as the firm is small and kind of getting started, but that's not scalable as the firm continues to, to grow. And you do reach a certain point where you can't have people in such roles that have so much fracture in them with what they're doing. It's at that point that you really need somebody who's going to come into the firm and function as that next layer between the owner and the rest of the team. Uh, and when you're looking for a COO, I think there's a, a few common traits that that we see that really successful COOs have. That person needs to be a leader. Uh, that person needs to have emotional intelligence. That person needs to be business minded because often that's the person who is going to be looking at those, not just high level reports, not just those scoreboard reports of how the firm is doing, but really working with other people on the team to dig into some of those diagnostic reports and say, hey, where do we have bottlenecks? Where do we have holes? Where do we have opportunities for making a process more efficient, more effective? Um, that person needs to have excellent communication skills because they've got to be able to communicate well with the owner of the firm as well as communicate well with the rest of the team. They have to be somebody who's trustworthy, who that owner can count on to say, hey, I may disagree with you behind closed doors and we may sort of hash it out behind closed doors, but by the time that door opens and I'm talking with the rest of the team, we are an aligned front who's coming forward to sort of give that information to the rest of the team. Um, and typically the COO, depending on the size of the firm, firms may not have their own internal HR department. So sometimes that COO is functioning in that HR role where they are ensuring that there's compliance, but they're also ensuring some of those interpersonal details are, are functioning well within the firm. Mm -hmm.